Since I can remember, I've always wanted to visit every airport in Scotland. And I was just browsing through the Logan Air website and I saw this flight from Inverness to Glasgow. I've never flown from Inverness before and I thought, that's a great opportunity. But there were a couple of surprises with this flight. Surprise number one is that this flight isn't direct. It goes through Stornoway. Now that's some detour. I've never been to Stornoway before. I've never been to Harris or Lewis before. Always wanted to go there. And this is such a perfect opportunity. Now the connection on a Saturday would have only given me an hour there. But on a Sunday, it gives me four hours. Now that's enough time to get into town and back. So I absolutely jumped at the chance. The second surprise was the price. If I had booked these flights separately, so if I'd booked Inverness to Stornoway and Stornoway to Glasgow, it would have cost me 300 quid. Now I can't afford that. But as one flight, it's cost me 99 pounds. I couldn't turn that down. And that's why I'm here today, on the edge of a busy road filming time lapses in a field. With not much to see at Inverness Airport, we'll cut straight to the Saab 340. Despite this one being 32 years old and having the hardest suspension in the skies, which you'll experience on landing by the way, I love this little aircraft. Top 5 for sure. As we taxi, let's talk about taxis. If you're taking a flight with high taxis, for example Transatlantic, try to originate your flight at a Highlands and Islands airport like Inverness and then connect. You will save a fortune. Took off eastbound today and had a nice view out over Rosemarkey Bay, but not much else as we were soon in and above the clouds, which was a bit of a shame because down there are some of the best views in Scotland, Torridon and sky beyond. Sorry folks. Wherever I sit on the Saab, I always seem to have bags of legroom, but my tiny table sat empty for the whole flight. Logan Air haven't brought back their in-flight service yet. I miss that tea and Tunnock's wafer. about half an hour I was getting my first ever view of Lewis and Harris and I'll leave you now to experience the approach and that silky smooth Saab landing for yourself.
Hello. Stornoway is a great little airport and it's probably my second favourite after Kirkwall and it was certainly a pleasure to tick this one off the list. But as for Lewis and Harris, I definitely need to spend more time up here. Check out my 36 hours video for a closer look if you haven't seen it already. Here we are folks, welcome to Stornoway. I'm sure it's not always this calm, it's beautiful. I was going to be lazy and get a taxi but I can't find any. It's Sunday, that's not unusual up here. Hello there, okay. how are okay. you? Thanks, Thank you. Good. Cheers, good, thank you. Bye. Next we're on to an Embraer for the continuation of our trip down to Glasgow. Now I chose to sit right down at the back of the bus for this one for a nice engine view, but beware, the leg room is really tight down here and this seat had seen better days. items such as laptops should be securely stowed within hand baggage for taxi takeoff and landing and smoking including the use of electronic cigarettes is not permitted. Close the doors and head off down to Glasgow. I'm going to be flying you down. It's about 40 minutes flying time. Flying off the southerly rubber here at Stornoway. Straight ahead, climbing to 23,000 feet. And it's the um, northeasterly runway down at Glasgow. Before we go flying, you will be demonstrating the safety features. Please do keep ground all your attention. I know some of you may be frequent flyers, but it is for um, it is for everyone's safety. So it only takes a couple of minutes. It is an unsmoking flight. And I think everybody has their own mask, or we can't issue you or one. It is a requirement that you keep those on throughout the duration of the flight. Thank you. A life jacket is under your seat. If needed, remove it from its case. Pull it over your head, pass the tapes around the waist, and tie in a double knot on the left hand side. When outside the aircraft, inflate by pulling the red toggle sharply downwards. It may also be inflated by blowing into the attached tube. Each jacket has a light and a whistle for attracting attention. As we taxied out at Stornoway, the old buildings and runways were a reminder of its history. Mainly used by the RAF during the war and later as a NATO base, the airport has a great strategic location for transatlantic military flights. These days though, you're not going to see much up here other than Logan Air flights, although the Royal Mail have a daily flight and the Coast Guard also use the airport as a base for search and rescue.
Here's a closer look at my big tray table which I'm sure has fond memories of in-flight service. One thing my feet will remember is how little room they had down there, and here's my annoying seat back pocket which kept falling apart. As the clouds dispersed I got a cracking view out the window, please correct me if I've got any of these places wrong. Just a quick update for you as we prepare to descend down into Glasgow. Cruising today 23,000 feet, ground speed of about 380 miles an hour. Doing our best to make up some uh, time for the time spent on the ground, stonily waiting for the uh, Scottish clearance. So we're down in the next couple of minutes, uh, routing over the top of a home and making a right turn. Heading out towards Melbourne before making a left turn and landing on the north easterly runway Glasgow. Expected to be the air ground in uh, just under 20 minutes time, weather in Glasgow today, uh, lovely clear skies, light uh, westerly winds and a temperature of 20 degrees. Without any changes, I'll come back and let you know for now, so back, relax and enjoy the rest of your flight. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for landing, would you please ensure your seatbelts are passing? So folks, I'll leave you now to enjoy the landing into Glasgow. Thanks so much for watching today and as always, I'll see you soon.
gentlemen, welcome to Glasgow. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.